What's going on? Just a quick video this week. I'm not doing a whole lot. Got everything up and running last weekend and uh, it's been super, super solid ever since. It's been working really, really well. I like the five gigahertz a whole lot better than the 24 at, uh, at this range at least. Rock solid, which is very cool. It's not quite as fast as the old antennas. So <laughs> I also found out that the multiplexer thing that I was gonna get, the NX and whatever, yeah, it doesn't work with uh, the HD, the AF5X HD. It only works with the regular AX5H, AF5X. There we go, just the regular. So I'm like, well, shit, might be swapping out radios again. At least this time I wouldn't have to change the whole dish. It's just, you know, you pop one radio out, you pop a new one in. But that might be down the road. For now, this is working perfectly fine. Um, everyone's super happy with the, the connection and the speed, especially down here where there are no other options. There is no broadband down here at all. Closest thing you get is DSL and all the phone lines down here were made in, were laid in like the 50s or something crazy. Very, very hit or miss. Sometimes you'll get 12 megs, sometimes you'll get one. And satellite is garbage. Uh, my last subscriber that I just hooked up actually had satellite. They didn't tell him that, oh yeah, by the way, if you stream more than 50 megs or 50 gigs, uh, yeah, we throttle you. So he, you know, he, he had no idea and all of a sudden the speed drops to like nothing. Oh, it's unlimited. Well, technically, yeah, but not, not really, not in a usable way. So he was super pissed. Canceled all that and signed up with me and he's super happy. He's getting, uh, what was it? 117 megs down, I think, cause he's kind of close to the relay. He's trucking. He's getting some good speeds. He's getting better speeds than I am. <laughs> so that's very cool. Uh, he's super happy. Everyone's super happy with it. So it's it's working really well. And now that it's really reliable and rock solid, doing good. Doing good. We even got some rain, and they didn't didn't phase them at all. So very very cool. It's not as fast as the old antennas, but it's way more stable, way more solid. So that's good. Been working on the new server uh, since I took the old server to the uh, data center. Yeah, and that damn thing. Huh. It boots off of a thumb drive, Unraid does, and uh, yeah, the thumb drive is dying. <laughs> I gotta replace the thumb drive, uh, the VMs and Docker, and basically everything that it does doesn't work now because the thumb drive is set to read-only mode, not rewrite, so I can't do anything. Been working on the new one, getting it all set up. It's, uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to set it all up, but once it's up and running and stuff, it's, it's, Unraid's awesome. Like the stuff you can do with it is incredible. Got the security camera VM back up and running. So it's all recording back on the server again and not on my desktop. Thank God, cause that didn't really work all that well. And I actually managed to restore that from a manual backup that I made. Um, Space Invader 1, the, the legend, he has a video where he shows you how to back up and restore VMs manually because it's not as easy as it is in like uh, VMware or VirtualBox or whatever. This is a little bit more of a clunky way of doing it, but it does work. I was pretty happy last night when it came up and all the cameras just connected and it started working like nothing even happened. I was like, thank God. And I got another VM set up, uh, up and running for rendering videos. I got this server because it's a lot more powerful than the other one. Uh, the, the CPUs in it have not only more cores, but they're faster clock speed as well. So it's much more powerful. It renders video a lot faster, but it looks like the, the bottleneck right now is the storage speed. So I think what I'm gonna do is put a, a solid state drive in the server, and instead of using it as a cache, I'm gonna just assign it to the rendering VM. So it'll you know have that dedicated fast storage to use. Ideally, I'll have enough space in there. I mean, I should anyway, it's a big ass server, to run two separate VM, or uh, two separate solid state drives, one for cache and then one to assign to the VM. First though, I have to get the cache drive to even show up, like the solid state drive. For whatever reason, I plugged it in just like I did in the other server and it worked fine in that one and this one, it's not showing up. Not just in Unraid, it's not showing up in the BIOS or anything and that's because this server has a built-in RAID card and what a pain in the ass that was. I'll link in the description the thread that I had going for um, trying to figure out how to get it to recognize the drives to pass through. It's called HBA mode. Bit of a process, but I did end up figuring it out. Again, I'll put the, the link in the description if anyone else comes across that. If anyone else has that problem, that's the solution and how to fix it. So I got the regular drives to show up to just be passed through without using RAID, because Unraid doesn't like RAID. With a name like Unraid, who would have thought? 
One workaround is to create a RAID 0 array for each drive, and then that'll be passed on through to Unraid. The problem with that, though, is that if you ever have to move the drives to another server, it won't be able to read them because instead of just the bare drives being seen in Unraid, it sees the RAIDs. And RAID doesn't transfer well. <laughs> Raid's kind of finicky. I did end up getting HBA to work, so I didn't have to do that. So yeah, not really doing a whole lot this week. Just toying around with the server. Got it hung up in the in the room in the spot where the other one was. And this mount thing that I have is intended for a 1U server. <laughs> this is a 2U, but eh, it works. It's whatever. My patent pending um, zip ties. <laughs> I got three drives in here for now, uh, three eight terabytes, so I have an eight terabyte cache and then 16 terabytes of storage, but I got plenty of room for more. So network's up and running, doing really well. Uh, server's up and running, it's still kind of in the works, but uh, it's getting there. Old server needs the thumb drive fixed, needs to be replaced, so that kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. All in all, everything's chugging right along. Uh, got another subscriber, so I'm up to six. Be jealous. Mm -hmm. Gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah, everything's humming right along. How are you guys doing? You guys having fun? You guys out there wisping all the things? Oh yeah, doing big things. I know, I know. But yeah, for now, that's all. Bye-bye.